Got a question from Manuel. I'm wondering if I would, if it would be a good idea to combine my gymnastics with moderate kettlebell training, or to switch completely. Oh no no no, Manuel. I got to tell you, my friend, uh, gymnastics with kettlebell training. Oh yeah, that's. Yeah, I don't know. You could do anything better. That's actually pretty good. I mean, I'm a big fan. If you can do, I mean, I, the workout that shall not be named, but. Anybody I've ever worked with, with any kind of gymnastics background, just seems so far ahead of the rest of us. So, no. Uh, can you, if you can do both, do both, okay? Uh, um, let's go on to the, the second part. He says, I don't want to ride two horses with one butt. <laughs> That's good. I'll, I'll have to steal that. Which is why I wonder if intelligent kettlebell training is as good for longevity and health as moderate gymnastics. My main goal is to train and enjoy life until my 100th birthday. Well, the only problem is going to be this. Um, and that's why, uh, just remember, I would do the gymnastics as long as you can because that's going to teach you tension. The kettlebell is going to teach you beyond tension how to use your body explosively and move. But there is going to be a time, Manuel, uh, where you're going to have to shift over to just general bodybuilding mobility. The ideal, the nice thing though, is you're going to be coming in with such um, an advantage for your background. So yeah, when you're in your 90s, uh, you'll have to back off onto the kettlebell swings to maybe once or twice a week. Uh, when you turn 100, uh, I don't know, do the snatch test on your 100th birthday and give me a call and I'll be there for you.